ऑस्ट्रेलियन मेलोडी ऑस्ट्रेलियन मल्ली टोल डाइन और यू कैन कम प्रभो भगवान और यू कैन कम भगवत भगवान प्रभु
Rupar Ras Leela. <laughs> when Krishna used to sing in fifth note. 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 And gopis? Seven. Or seven? Sare Gama Padhani Sa. Then Krishna used to tell, oh, thank you, thank you. I cannot do it. <laughs> Vishnu Padaya Gaura Prashthaya Bhutale Shri Srimad Bhakti Pragyana Kesavaiti Nam Bancha Kalpatarubhyasya Kripa Sindhu Bhayevacha Patitanam Pavanibhya Vaishnavibhya Namo Mahabhadanyaya Krishna Prema Pradayate Krishna Krishna Chaitanya Namne Gauratti Jena Gurave Gaura Chandraya Radhika Yai Tadalaya Krishna Krishna Bhaktaya Tadabhakta Yana Bhaktya Bihina Aparadha Lakshya Chitasapamaditaranga Madhya Kripamain Kvam Sharanam Prapanna Vrinde Numaste Charana Tavai Vasmi Tavai Vasmi Najivami Prayabhina Iti Vigyaya Radhe Tangnai Mama Charana My heart fell in Dandavat Pranam, in the lotus feet of my spiritual master, Nitya Leela Prabhishtam Vishnupad, Sri Samad Bhakti Prabhyan Kesha Goswami. Same in the lotus feet of my Shiksha Guru Om Vishnupad, Sri Srila Bhakti Vedam Swami Maharaj, my whole Guru Pandya. Then my dear sons and daughters. Here we have only one day program. But I have shown something in San Diego class. I have come remember that you should not be weak. You should not be weak. I have told you aim and object of our bhajan sadhana. Gopik Prem is last one. Last means? Supreme. 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 Aradhyo Bhagavan Vrijesha Tanayashta Dhamma Vrindavan Ramya Kachuti Pasana Bajupad Bhargini Jatalpita Srimad Bhagavatam Praman Amlam Prema Kumarthoma Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Tavidam Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Chaitanya Hence of Krishna. Krishna is Krishna ne Prajendra Nandan, Jasoda Nandan, Radha Kamta. Oh, He is Supreme. As He is Supreme, He is one in Vrindavan. 
So also, our Aradhya is Vrinda Vandham. In Aradhya, Vrinda Vandham. Krishna, who is not in Vrindavan, who is Dwarka, Mathura, everywhere, here, there, he is not, he is honorable, but not our ultimate goal of our life. And the process that Gopi adopted, which has written in Srimad Bhagavatam, Parthi Yamut, this Parthi Abhav is highest. And we want the souls, we only we can achieve the maid servant of Radhika in the guidance of Rupmanjit. So I have cleared this thing everywhere in my process. But we should have to begin from where the last fraction of bhakti that is Shatta. We should not think that, oh, we are now Raganuga and we have our Siddha, Deha and everything. Dawn. Artificially we should begin from Shraddha. But from where Shraddha will go, come. So everywhere, our Guru Bhargava, Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami, Sarup Dhamudha, Raya Ramanu, Rup Goswami, all Bande Aham Sri Guru Sri Yuta Padakamalam Sri Guru Nam Beginning from where? Ravnath Das Vashram Manashikha Guru Goste Gostha Laisu Sujane Su Sujar Bhusar Gane Swamantre Sri Namuni Brejva Dang Sarane Sada Dambham Hitva Kuru Ratim Apurbham beginning from Gurudev. And this beginning is a strong root, foundation in any disciple, uh, any devotee's heart. Then this Prem Kalpataru will come out. The Anku sprout up But if no foundation, then it will not come. So everywhere we see beginning from you are bhakta, devotee. But follow the principles. Follow the principles. Don't be worried for your maintenance of life. <coughs> Secondly, thing, give up on Krishna. Only do Atma Nivedan. Atma Nivedan Tuha Padekari Hoi no Parama Sukhi Dukha Dure Gelo Chinta Narahi Chaudi Gyan. We should complete surrender. But where to surrender? Krishna is not available here, there. But he is representing, representing. Guru is good. Krishna is so merciful, God is merciful. She has sent, he has sent in all time, from beginning, Guru Parampara, Brahma to up to now, and up to future, end of Kali, or end of creation. He will be available. If Vaishnava are not in this earth, what? It will be finished. So, first surrender where? Guru. So, you should always do what I am telling, what our Guru Parampara is telling. What Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Krishna, and Rupa Goswami especially, we should follow. Especially Raghunath Das Goswami. So, I am digging from here. Guru Goste Gosthale Sujani Bhusurgane Swamantreshi Namni 
त्रिज्वदंतसरणे सदा धम भम हित्वा कुरु रतिम अपूर्वम अपितरा सदा धम भम हित्वा दिस वुड एक्सप्लेन आई एम टेलिंग ऑल दिस थिंग इन ब्रीफ इन वन डे आई कैन नॉट टेल मोर देन दिस If you want to hear more, you should come to Bejar. You are in Bejar. More than for one month in India, God, Bridge Mandal Parikrama. You are. Om Gyan Timiran Dhasya Gyan Anjana Shalakaya. श्रीकृष्णचैतन्यप्रभुनंदिया शिवा सहि गौरभक्तवृंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई एम ऑफरिंग माय हंबल दंडवत प्रणाम एंड माय श्रद्धा पुष्पांजलि टू द लोटस फीट ऑफ माय बिलवेड गुरुदेव नित्य लीला प्रविष्ट ओम विष्णु पाद अस्तु चार सच श्री श्रीमद एसी भक्ति विदांत स्वामी महाराज प्रभु पाद एंड सेकंडली माय इक्वल दंडवत प्रणाम एंड श्रद्धा पुष्पांजलि to the feet of my beloved sikh guru devs nitilila pravishta om vishnu pad shri shrimad bhakti rakshak shri dhar goswam aharaj and om vishnu pad asto tara sata shri shila bhakti vedanta narayan goswami maharaj whom we have the great fortune to be in the divine presence of today in this assembly to all the vaishnavas vaishnavis and all friends and guests who have come to this holy satsanga shri <clears throat> gurudev is telling that he has set the theme by his statements of the importance of having guru in one's life in one's spiritual life and having shraddha strong faith and belief in guru and he has stated that there are so many different statements throughout all the vedic literatures describing the necessity uh, for a soul in this world to have a guru a spiritual master who can guide them on the spiritual path shilgurudev has told that in this world we condition souls who have forgotten our eternal relationship with the supreme personality of godhead bhagavan sri krishna we are uh, in a state of ignorance and illusion like darkness like a sleeping condition uh, and in that condition we have no direct access to our relation with the supreme lord he is beyond the purview of our material mind and our senses we cannot see him directly huh but in the vedic literatures it is described that a soul within this world when his time comes bhava pavargo janato yada bhavesh when his time comes after wandering throughout these material planets in so many different species of life when he becomes fortunate that he comes into the association of satsanga of pure devotees who have realized their relationship with the supreme lord and in that association uh, he now begins to hear the transcendental message of the divine uh, transcendental uh, truth absolute truth which has been handed down from the beginning of this creation through a long chain of pure devotees realized souls gurus and they have come and given this knowledge to all the souls within this world so actually these divine personalities within this world are the direct representatives of the supreme lord for all of us without that mercy 
coming in the form of Sri Guru, then the conditioned soul would not have access to the Supreme Lord. He would not be able to revive his relationship with the Lord. So therefore the Vedic literatures tell us, Tasma Guru Prapadyeta Jikyasu Shreya Uttamam If someone wants to know what is their highest benefit in their life, Shreya, then they will have to Guru Prapadya. They will have to surrender to Guru and accept his divine guidance. Srila Gurudev has quoted a very important shloka from Srila Raghunath Das Goswami's Manasiksha. And here, Srila Raghunath Das Goswami is describing that in order to attain these highest perfections of life, uh, then the first thing is that one must have rati, transcendental attachment, love, and affection for Sri Guru. Guru Goste Gosta Laishu Sujane Bhushurgane. Here, Sri Raghunath Das Goswami is giving all the items, uh, the transcendental holy dham of the Supreme Lord, as Srila Gurudev has told that Braja Brindavan Dham, where Sri Krishna eternally resides, and whom Sri Krishna manifested on this planet when he appeared 5,000 years ago, that transcendental place is as worshipable as himself. So, but before one can have transcendental attachment for Gosta, Guru Goshte, first of all one must have Guru. Because Guru is why the divine guru, resident. Guru, why not one uh, singular number? Why not? Guru? Guru is plural number. Ah. No, sing, singular. Two, two. two. Guru is plural. Two. 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 In Hindi and in uh, Sanskrit, there are three numbers singular, plural, and dural. Uh -huh. Dural here. Guru means Sikha Guru and Diksha. Ah, yes. Ek Bachan. Oh. But anyhow, Sikha Guru will come. Yes. So here Srila Raghunath Das Goswami has explained by the use of the Sanskrit term Guru, which means two, dual, that one will have the first Guru whom he meets within his life and he will surrender to that guru and accept what is called diksha, spiritual initiation. He will be accepted by that personality and that personality will also give him spiritual guidance and so many instructions. But uh, also, he will require the association of Siksha Guru. Siksha Guru... It has uh, been clear, Bande Guru Sri Yutu Vadakamnam Sri Guru Vaishnava so we should think this is also there. Yes. So all throughout the Shastras it is stated that Sri Guru Dev is a transcendental manifestation of Krishna. And the Diksha Guru and the Siksha Guru are equal and identical manifestations of the Supreme Lord. Because both of them perform the function of being the via media between the soul and the Supreme Lord and in this way, they give him all relevant instructions and train him and guide him. Just as a little child, he must have the loving care and attention of his parents in order to grow from childhood into a proper, uh, healthy, normal adult. So in the same way, the soul must be trained by the personal loving guidance of the representative of the Supreme, Supreme Lord, Sri Gurudev. And these two personalities, Diksha Guru, Initiating Guru, and Siksha Guru, they are both performing this function. But in the case of Siksha Guru, in many, in many ways, he is more intimate and more accessible than Diksha Guru. And he becomes even sometimes more close to one's heart because one can reveal his heart and his mind to Siksha Guru and ask so many relevant questions. So in this way, by the combination of Diksha and Siksha Guru, then all thorough, all relevant training will come in one's spiritual life. So Srila Raghunath Das Goswami is saying, Guru Goste, first of all, one must have attachment, rati, affection for Sri Guru. Then for the Holy Dham, for all the residents of the Holy Dham, 
Goshtala Ishu, those who are the eternal associates of Sri Krishna, who reside in the eternal realm and have divine prem, eternal loving devotion to Krishna, uh, and also those who reside within the manifested dham, the prakat dham within this world. And they are like Madhyam Adhikaris. They are serving and constantly absorbed in bhajan within this world. And also, uh, Sujane Bhushurgane. Uh, what also? Goshtalais means here, Rup Sanatan and other Sarva, Goshtalais. They are there, they are not Madhya Madhikari. But they are living, they are doing bhajan and teaching others. So, Goshtala Ishu, yes, Sujane is Madhya. So, Goshtala Ishu means, as Gurudev is pointing out, both the eternal residents of the eternal dham, like Nanda Maharaj, Mother Yashoda, and all gopis, cowherd boys, but also uh, within this world, the e eternal personalities who have descended to this world and are perfected souls, they're either Nitya Siddha or Sadhan Siddha, but they're Uttam Mahabhagavats, and they're residing within this world in the holy dham. So one should have rati, attachment and divine affection for them. And then, for also Bhushurgane, those who may take Sujane, Sujane I mentioned the Madhyam, Madhyam Adhikari Bhagwats, who within this world, other Sampradaya, Ramani, Vishnu Swami, Nimbadi, and all, they may be Uttam Bhagwat also, Madhyam also, but all, we should honor them. Sujane, Bhushurgane, and Bhushurgane means those who are mostly on the level of Kanishta, but within this world they are maintaining Varnashram Dharma and the Brahminical codes of behavior within this world. And some of them are also residing within the Holy Dham, like the Brahmanas. So one must have also affection for them, never committing any offenses, any aparads against any of these categories of Vaishnavas. Then he says, Swamantre Sri Namni. Swamantra means one's own Diksha mantras, which one has received from Sri Gurudev, like Sri Gayatri Mantra. These mantras, one must have deep attachment uh, to the chanting of these mantras, and one must understand that these are direct manifestations of Sri Gurudev's mercy, and uh, Shri, their Ishtadeva is manifested our eternal worshipable lords are manifested in the form of these mantras, so one must have great rati, attachment. And Sri Namni means the holy names, the especially the Maha Mantra, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. This process was delivered directly within this world by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and his associates. And it has been passed down through the process of disciplic succession. There is no other mantra, no other transcendental sound vibration which is more powerful and effective in this age of Kali than this Maha Mantra, the greatest of all mantras. So one must have deep attachment for the Maha Mantra. And then, Vrajanava Yuva Dvandva Sharane. And finally, for our ultimate goal, our ultimate uh, repose, where we want to keep all of our faith and love. That is the transcendental divine couple, Vraja Nava Yuva Dvanva Sharane. One must have the shelter of their lotus feet of Sri Sri Radha and Krishna in Braja Vrindavan. So, Sri Raghunath Das Goswami is praying to his mind, Manasiksha. He is trying to give instruction to his mind. My dear mind, develop attachment for these. But he says, First of all, Sada Dambam Hitva. Sada Dambam Hitva means to give up always, at all times, and under all circumstances, all types of pride and false egotism. And considering oneself as very important and very great, one should give up all sense of pratishta, and one should give up all kapatya, kutinati, deceitfulness, hypocrisy. And he should simply, completely accept and develop rati for these transcendental uh, entities. 
And, he, and Raghunath Das Goswami is saying, Aye, Brata, oh my dear brother mind. Because our mind is situated within this body along with us. Uh, we, the Atma, the soul, are residing within this temporary material body. And the mind, although this is also one aspect of our self, our Atma, but it is not our real self. So that mind must become the Bandhu, the friend of the soul. And he is praying to his mind, trying to instruct his mind to constantly surrender to the lotus feet of Guru and develop faith and love and attraction for all of holy Dham and holy Vaishnavas, the holy names, the holy mantras. And in this way, one will gradually be able to attain the final perfection of living in Braja eternally with transcendental praying for the lotus feet of Shri Shri Radha and Krishna. Hare Krishna. You should know one thing that the Rashatma group of Brahma Gayatri is Kam Gayatri. What? What? Shri Gurudev explained the Rasatma Karup, when Brahma Gayatri is mature, then it transforms and becomes Kam Gayatri, in which all Braja Rasa relation to Radha Krishna is. Uh, yeah. Rasatma Rasatmaka means full of Braja Rasa, especially Parakya Bhakti Rasa. So, uh, ladies should not think that we have not Brahma Gayatri. <laughs> they have Rasatma group of Gayatri there. And also, the Rasatma Swaru of Omkar is clean. Understand? The Rasatmak Roop, Sarup of Om is clean with four relations. If it will be matured Om, 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 Hari, Tat, Sat and other, if it will be matured, it will be transferred into clay. If you want to have Krishna Prem, such wonderful Prem. Criticize anyone. Whether he is a rated person, what he is, he should be and he should be. You should not criticize. Otherwise, bad quality, bad qualities come in you. Oh, his charitrahin, his loose character, lusty. Don't give this idea in your heart. Otherwise, lusty, lusty and lust will come in your heart. Don't criticize. Especially Vaishnavas. Anyhow, they can misdirect. But, again they are in line, we should forget all these things. So, in this, Upadeshamri, uh, perhaps. It has told. Those. Ah. Ah, you should explain. I want that this should not come as a lecture. Who is giving lecture? Myself, yourself, anyone. Totally follow. Totally follow. One is speaking, one will not do. I told in morning perhaps. Namatma pravachani nalabhu nami dhaya bahuna suti jama vesh eva piriti te nalabhda tasa shatma. Otherwise, learning or knowing will do nothing. Umagana Timaran Hesse, Gara Naslaka, Chaksu, Lulitan Dena, the Swansi Gurahina. Still, Gurde wanted me to uh, speak briefly on one verse of Buddha Samita, spoken by 
Sila Rupa Goswami Pai. Dhrsta Subhava Janitaya Baba Chastra Dushay Na Prakritattu Miya Bhakta Jana Sapasit Gangam Vasam Na Talubud Buddha Pena Pankha Brahmadravatvik Abhagachati Nira Dharmai Dhrsta Subhava Janitaya Bapusa Dush Two types of Dush Dush means defect They are Dhrsta they, and they are visible to our eyes. Two types of defects in a pure Vaishnava. One is called Swabhav Dosh. The other one is called the Vaku Dosh. Swabhav Dosh means a defect in the nature of a devotee. And Vaku Dosh means defect in the body. Defect in nature is what? Oh, it may seem, someone may see by the eyes. Oh, he's sleeping. And like me, I am also sleeping, he is also sleeping. So, I am lazy, he is also lazy. Mm -hmm. Or sometimes one may see a pure Vaishnava become angry. Mm -hmm. You know that Narad Muni became angry with Nalkova and Manigri. So what happened? Oh, Durbasa? Durbasa Rishi. Always right. <laughs> but what is the result of the anger of a pure Vaishnava? This is not a curse. They don't curse. It looks like they give curse. What do they give? benedictions, so that we can overcome all anartha by their chastisement, by their anger. Hmm? Then, or they remove all anartha, all unwanted desires from the core of our hearts, we become pure. So, it seems, by our eyes, we see, there is anger, there is laziness, but this is only in our eyes. Hmm? Vakudosh means some defect in the body. How is Vaishnav? Vaishnav is aprakritasada, Near the Osha Ananda mind. Vaishnava is Aprakrita, transcendental. Satchidananda. As Krishna is Satchidananda, Sadguru, Shuddha Vaishnava, they are also Satchidananda, completely transcendental. But we see, oh, maybe some there's, defects, there's some defect in the body, like ill health, some disease, old age. Vaishnava has pure transcendental senses. And why do you have to wear spectacles or earring aid or anything? Because it seems like the body is growing old. This defect is not a defect. This defect is only in our eyes. Maybe defect of low birth, defect of disease, etc. This is called Vaku Dosh. So Rupa Goswami Pai, to help us understand the relationship between the pure Vaishnava and our material vision of the pure Vaishnava, he said, oh, try to follow this example. You know that the Ganga, the Ganges is pure. It, is, it has washed the lotus feet of Sri Vishnu. It is the plain place of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu also. So the Ganges is always transcendental. Yet if you go to the Ganga there and you will see what? Sometimes bubbles, foam, mud, some pollution. If you do a test, then you may discover some bacteria, maybe. Hmm? But what is this? It does not uh, in any way compromise the transcendental nature of the Ganges. If one will go to the Ganga, if one will only see the Ganga, smell the Ganga, give Dandavat to the Ganga, what to speak of taking bath in Ganga, what will happen? All one's pap will be washed away, one will become purified and one will become advanced in Bhakti. So similarly, though by our mature vision, we may superimpose some defect on Vaishnava, yet anyway, one can only realize the transcendental position of the Vaishnav, by what? Just as a person gives honor to Ganga, takes bath in Ganga, then they realize how Ganga is purifying them. So one who does Sharnagati, unconditional surrender at the lotus feet of Vaishnav, and begins very powerful Seva Vritti, always serving, 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 after some time, they can realize, oh, what I was seeing, this is external. But Vaishnav is what? Eternal associates of Sisi Radha Krishna and Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Once Rukh Goswami 